Hello, today is October 17th, 2011, and we have the privilege to be interviewing Dr. Robert Stevenson, renowned musicologist, UCLA Emeritus Professor. May I briefly introduce myself by saying that I'm a New Mexican by birth, that I grew up in El Paso, Texas, that I went to New York on a scholarship, fellowship, from the Juilliard Graduate School of Music, that my first professorship was at the University of Texas in Austin, and that I have been constantly moving forward since uh, my first years at um, the University of Texas at El Paso, at uh, Austin. I also taught at the University of Texas at uh, El Paso. El Paso is a wonderful place to grow up in because of the many advantages that it offered to uh, aspiring musicians. I, at the present time, working on my 29th book, I have uh, spent many years preparing it, musical beginnings in coastal California metropolises. The books on Los Angeles that thus far have been published do not go back very far. After all, Los Angeles was founded in 1781. Junipero Serra arrived in 1779. He was the predecessor of a group of 13 missions, and all of the data on uh, coastal California has been lacking. I've supplied that data and I think in my uh, musical beginnings in coastal California metropolises is going to be a very vastful, very and va vastly useful book for uh, music in California histories. Now, uh, whether you think that California is important enough, as I do, to deserve a full review of its musical history, we shall see. The books that have been thus far published to do, having to do with uh, Los Angeles have not taken account at all of what happened at the very beginning. So Dr. Stevenson, uh, Walter Clark, a former student of yours, is doing a presentation in Indiana. Can you please uh, give us a little bit about information on how you met Walter and uh, expand on Inter-American Music Review? Walter Clark is the ideal of an ideal scholar, musicologist. What he has done for Spain and what he has done for Latin America in editing the extremely valuable, recently published Latin American music uh, history published by W. W. Norton, which should be in the hands of all my listeners because of its profundity and its value and its coverage. Uh, Walter uh, was in former times a professor at the University of Kansas. From there he came to head the music department at the University of California in Riverside where he now still remains as a leading pinion and bastion of the music department. He was in his earlier years uh, working in many different fields, but he settled on uh, details relating to the operas of Albanese and the history of Albanese and uh, of Granados, published in both English and Spanish, is and still remains the leading uh, biographies, biobibliographies, published on those important Silver Age composers. My musical beginnings in California coastal metropolises was inspired by the need for a coverage of the totality of uh, California music history not covered in the two previous texts that have been devoted to Los Angeles and San Diego. I am the author of the uh, articles on Los Angeles and 
San Diego and both editions of the New Grove Dictionary of Music and also in the MGG D Music Ligenbart, which published my article on Victoria uh, solemnizing his 400th anniversary, uh, published a number of my other articles that have now not been accepted as authoritative on many aspects of Latin American and uh, Spanish and Portuguese music. These two fields have been vastly neglected by the generality of musical scholars. Why? Because a knowledge of Spanish is really essential, and Portuguese, I would also say, essential to a comprehension of what has occurred in these two uh, vastly important countries as far as music history is concerned. The uh, title, Musical Beginnings, in California coastal metropolises will, I think, be of vast interest to the majority of my listeners, as will also the textbook edited by Walter Clark. I pay highest tribute to Walter Clark for taking an interest in Inter-American Music Review. Inter-American Music Review was started in 1989, same year that Latin American Journal by Gerard Bayard was started in Austin, Texas, and has attracted a vast number of readers and has been highly influential in skirting not only the edges of musical life in Southern California, but the heart and soul of it. I hope to publish after musical beginnings, and I hope to publish an authoritative book on Baroque musical fortunes in upper South American colonial capitals. I have already published a vastly needed textbook on textbook on South American national anthems, which was taken over by the press in Lima, Peru, and has now been widely acclaimed. What I have principally tried to do myself is to cover topics which were of supreme importance but neglected by other scholars. I'm most grateful to Professor Walter Clark for taking an interest in the history of Inter-American Music Review. Inter-American Music Review, as I think many people know, was started in the same year as the Latin American Music Review edited by Gerard Bayard at the University, University of Texas. Inter-American Music Review is intended to make space for interested scholars working in the field of California music history, which is, to say the least, vastly neglected by the majority of uh, leading scholars, even in California. The uh, one scholar who's made a great subject of California in his uh, articles has been Professor John Cagle, now teaching at uh, the State University at Fullerton, born in Santa Monica and a leading figure in research into Mexican music at all periods. The question of Mexican contributions cannot be discouraged by because most people just look upon Mexicans as wayfarers, persons who arrived in this part of the country uh, as um, poor individuals from Mexico. But that's really an incorrect way to look at the Mexican population in uh, this part of the country. So Dr. Stevenson, what is the plan for Inter-American Music Review? What does the future hold? Well, my plan holds steady and steadfast to the plan on which it was originally originated, and that is to say, to provide services for interested scholars that cannot find immediate uh, access in magazines published in the East or in Europe. The question of the future Inter-American Music Review depends upon uh, the interest of 
subscribers, and thus far, this YouTube of subscribers has been very fruitful and very challenging and very inspiring. The future of Inter American Music Review is really uh, an addition to what has been thus far published in Inter American Music Review. One of the purposes of uh, Inter American Music to provide a forum for scholarship, not of persons teaching at Berkeley, where California music history has never been a subject that's been really uh, cultivated but left on the wayside, but it's providing a forum, at least for scholarship that is dedicated to this western part of the United States. Well, it's been very, very popular at Inter-American Music Review. I get uh, a few emails every day uh, where people are requesting and wanting to know more information. When is your next uh, publication? So it's, it's been very, very popular uh, review. And uh, thank you very much for this interview today. And uh, anything more you'd like to say uh, to the people in Indiana? I'd like to express my gratitude to the persons who helped me found Inter-American Music Review. And their names are, of course, uh, Terry Stewart and David Butler, their help at the early stages was essential and also the publication by Gemini Gra Graphics. In the early stages of any periodical, the aid of important individuals is ne needed and even more needed now for Air American Music Review because the day of my editing it is over, and I hope to bequeath it to someone who's really vitally interested. The University of California Press has never been interested because it's not a money maker. The University of California Press has published issues of, of uh, uh, other magazines, but they've been money makers or they've been subsidized. But this has not been the fate of Hill American Music Review thus far. Excellent. Are there, uh, who subsidizes Inter-American Music Review? Well, it's been subsidized by a number of the contributors and essentially by me. Well, if anyone wants to reach out to you and ask you any further questions, they can contact you at drrobertstevenson at gmail.com. And uh, we're going to be producing more videos uh, in the, in the near future, so please uh, stay tuned to the YouTube channel, and we'll be back very shortly. Thank you very much.